a little goat's biting me. He just bit my leg. Man, you got, you got, oh, he's biting me again. Look at him, little turd, get out here. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all have an awesome day today. I have a little treat for y'all. I'm up here at Hidden Heights Farm. I got Kevin over here with me. What's going on Kevin? What's going on guys? <laughs> hey, we're up here. I'm doing a little filming. If you watched my video from yesterday, he's going to let me borrow that incubator um, because that company just sent extra eggs. And I already had um, eggs in the incubator I got. They're like seven, eight days into it and I didn't want to open it and mess with it and all that. So he's got an incubator that we're going to go look at. He's going to let me borrow it for a little while. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you around his place, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about his his YouTube channel. He's got a YouTube channel called Hidden Heights Farm, and we're actually going to do a giveaway today. So stay tuned for that. Um, first, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about, he's got a guardian dog. What kind of dog is that, Kevin? It's a Great Pyrenees. It's a great, he has a Great Pyrenees, and uh, we're going to tell you a little story today about how he, that, that dog, Great Pyrenees over there, uh, he's laying down somewhere right over there. Taking a nap. Taking a little nap. I think he's, there he is, right, right there somewhere. Um, he saved... That little baby deer, was it last year or so? It was about uh, it was a couple of years ago. A little goat's biting me. He just bit my leg. Man, you got, you got, oh, he's biting me again. Look at him, little turkey out here. You're starving. All right, so, so a couple of years ago, uh, a couple of does kept jumping the fence, and this was in the fall, right before hunting season, and they had a couple of fawns, and when the fawns just got old enough, they could jump the fence. Uh, the does are in there eating. I had some, some turnips planted, and... For whatever reason, the does jumped the fence, left, and one of the babies got scared and ran straight towards the fence and got his head stuck in the fence. Well, this was at nighttime. I woke up in the morning to go to work, and my dog started barking like crazy, like there was a coyote or a stray dog over there. So I seen it over there, and I went to check out what it was after, and it was laying. By the time I got out there, it was laying on the ground right next to this little fawn. The fawn... I guess it jumped over and it got scared and tried to run through the fence instead of Get jumping back over. So it got its head stuck. I remember you showed me pictures and videos of it. It was crazy. Yeah. Uh, here in just a little bit, um, he's going he's to share, share some pictures with me and maybe some video if he can find it. And I'm going to put it in, the, in this video for you all. Um, but first, we're going to do a giveaway today. Um, if you guys have been with me very long, you guys know I do giveaways uh, time to time. Well, today, what I got for you is a I got a $50 visa gift card is for uh anyone can win it the only thing you have to do is you have to be subscribed to me obviously you have to go subscribe to kevin at hidden heights farm and the video i put a link to i'll put it right up here go click it and say um dutch sent me or dutch sent me um, new subscriber something like that that way we know you went over there and subbed and down below in this video just put uh just put um contest uh giveaway something like that that i know that you want in the giveaway um so if you don't put a comment down below saying that you want in the giveaway um you're not going to be in it because i do a random picker and what it picks it picks uh it'll pick the comments and it has to say you're in the giveaway because that tells me that you went and subscribed to him and you subscribed to me so with that being said good luck to whoever uh enters the contest yeah let's build his channel we got about 500 subs right now I hit 500 this morning he hit 500 subs guys and that may not seem like a lot to some people but it's, if hard you're, work. it's very hard work this does it is not easy at all um so if you're new to youtube and you're like oh 500 that ain't hard it is extremely hard um but uh, what we do on, on my channel i've always helped uh, the smaller channels that are just now get going to build up so we could just help the community um, so that way Kevin will keep posting content be encouraged by all you guys and a lot of you have already subscribed to him so if you've already sub, uh, subscribed to Kevin just tell me down below that you already subbed to him um, and that's and you're in the contest so we greatly appreciate Kevin I know Kevin appreciates it we got to get him to a thousand subscribers guys he's at 500 I think we can do it for sure so go over there and sub to him but let's go check out that incubator we'll talk a little bit of my, a little bit more about his uh, guardian dog he actually has another one 
and we'll look at a few more things. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So we're down here at Kevin's goat pen. Now Kevin's always raised goats, sheep, something like that. Um, and Kevin does what I do. We raise them for the meat market. There's a really, um, really high demand uh, for goat meat and uh, sheep, lamb meat. And Kevin's got a herd I've never seen before. I've never seen these kind of goats before. I know you guys are probably all familiar with Kikos. Uh, have you had Kikos before? I've had some Kikos. I just sold the last two I had and these are full blood Spanish goats. Let's take a look at them. Goats. So what are these? These are full blood Spanish goats. These come out of a big ranch down in Texas. They look good. I've never seen these black Spanish goats. Yeah, they're something different we wanted to try. Uh, these are registered and they're kids. The way you register these is you pull hair from their tail and you actually send them in. So what you're telling me is you pull hair from their tail? Yeah, you got well, let me tell you something. You couldn't do that with my lambs because my lamb cells are falling off. Yeah. <laughs> we're, me and my wife's going to make a video here pretty soon. We're, we're fixing to send the, the hair from these goats off to be registered. And the, they are also bred to be kidding in the end of May, 1st of June. So me and my wife's going to make a video covering the registration process. And if any of y'all got questions on uh, how, do you, how you do all that, Kevin's gonna make a video on it. Kevin, what's the um, what's the reason for register? I know a lot of people will register their animals. They get a little bit more money when they sell them. Is that your purpose, or you get a little bit more money? Uh, it's a little bit more paperwork and cost, but a lot of people out there want to know 100% sure that they are buying 100% Spanish goat. They don't want half boar, or yeah. half Spanish, and sometimes you can have a mixed goat that looks 100%, but they're really not. Well, these look 100% to me. I've never seen them before. I can tell you they're 100%. So what you got here? What kind of dog is this? This is an Anatolian Shepherd. Really good uh, She's stock. She's a very good guard dog. Livestock guard dog, I guess? Yes. She's two years old, and we're looking to get her bred with another Anatolian male here pretty quick. That'd be awesome. Yeah, but these, these, uh, these goats, I guess they're in high demand around here. Because um, there's not very many people who raise these. You're probably about the only one around that raises these kind, aren't you? Um, yeah, uh, in northeast Oklahoma, there, I have not found another breeder that raises these goats. We had to go to Bristow or Drumright to pick this little herd up. And they came straight from a ranch down way down in Texas where they have like 5,000 acres of just open range. There's nothing down there but rocks and dirt and I guess mesquite trees that these things live off of. So. So these goats might be kind of like uh, the hair sheep I got, the, the dorpers. They can pretty much live off dirt and a little bit of grass. They're supposed to be very hardy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's, just, that's the stuff we need out here in Oklahoma because our weather's changed. Like the wind blows. It could be, it could be 90 degrees today. Tomorrow it could be freaking sleet and it's crazy out here. Right. Um, so when we have these droughts and stuff like that, goats like uh, these Spanish uh, meat goats, they're meat goats, right? Yes. These Spanish meat goats, they thrive. Um, they thrive, and that's the same thing that the Dorpers I got. They thrive in the conditions that we have here in Oklahoma, and that's part of the reason why me and Kevin got the animals we do because um, they're not real high maintenance. I'm guessing these are probably parasite resistant too, that, like the that, Kikos. That, that's what everybody that raises them says. You can get online and research it, and that's why we went with these. Uh, you guys, follow his channel, like I said. Go subscribe to him because once these start having kids, you're probably building your flock up somewhat, but you're probably going to sell some of them too. Oh, yeah. So whenever they start having kids and, and all that and they're ready to sell, you guys can contact him on through his channel. And a lot of people contact Daniel trying to get the Kiko goats. Well, the, I guess these uh, the meat is very comparable, if that's what you're after, is, is the meat market. And uh, that's what Kevin does, what I do. We raise these uh, the meat animals uh, for the market to make a little bit of extra money from the homestead. And I know a lot of you guys are into all that. If you can make a little bit of extra money off your land, it's always a plus. Hey, let's go in here and let's check out this incubator he's got. Hey, so we're in here in Kevin's shop. Uh, now we he's got the same, pretty much the same uh, setup I got for the incubator wise. He's got the automatic turner. He's got a little uh, thermostat that does the humidity and all that. So you guys are probably familiar with this if you've seen me um, use mine. Um, but we're gonna go back out and we're gonna we're gonna talk about 
um, his guardian dog and how it saved that deer a little bit more. And we're going to show you some uh, footage if we, if we can find it, but for sure, show you the pictures of this thing got stuck. I remember this, like it was crazy. He's like, man, you can't believe this. My guardian dog pretty much saved and guard, guarded that little baby deer. So let's go back out there and take a look at your dog. You want to? Yep. Right. So what happened after you, uh, after he saved that, uh, that little baby deer, what'd you, so what'd you do? So I come outside that morning and he's barking like crazy. I knew something was up and I go down there to check it out. And of course this little fawn has his head stuck in the fence. And it looked like he hurt his leg or something. So anyways, I brought the fawn back to my house and put it in this pasture right here. It's about three acre pasture. And the mama, I seen the mama, she didn't leave his sight hardly. She was blowing at me when I went and picked up that little fawn and stuck him in the back of the side by side. So I brought the fawn up here, put him in here. And by the next day that fawn was gone. He, he finally figured out how to jump the fence and went back with his mom. So. This dog right here, if there's a goat, or just like in the case of that deer, if they're hurt, or if they're kidding, laying down on the ground away from the other herd, he will lay right there and just protect them. And if he thinks there's something wrong, he'll try to alert us and to get our attention to come check it out. Does he, now when there's baby goats on the ground, will he actually lick, lick it too, to clean it up? Yeah. I seen what, was that yours that did that? Was yeah, that I got a video I shared the other day when the triplets were born. Uh, go check that video out. Look, look under my playlist under goats. Uh, he will sit right there and he will help the moms clean them up. It's crazy. That's pretty dang cool. So as far as um, livestock dogs, I've always heard these Great Pyrenees are by far the best. I've been wanting to get one, um, but Gabby does such a great job that we really just haven't got one yet. But once we build our flock and get, you know, 30, 30 head of, uh, of ewes running around, we might have to just get one like Kevin's got and uh, leave them out there to protect the flock. Um, now, Kevin, had, I'm guessing you live out in the country. Kevin's got like 20, 30 acres out here, yeah. woods all around, coyotes oh, yeah. all the time. Coyotes, hawks, Hawk, owls, What about pigs? I know you, you uh, shot pigs. some pigs. He's, have, didn't you say he's actually ran pigs and coyotes off oh, him yeah, out here? Oh, yeah, he's killed coyotes. That's Wolf awesome. Wolf coyotes, you know, he just rips their throat out. He's Jeez. crazy. Stray dogs, cats, anything. Anything, but, anything that poses a threat. And even... When my kids are out in the yard playing and stuff, sometimes we let him out. I know some people say that on these livestock guardian dogs, you're not supposed to interact with them, you're not supposed to play with them. But I mean, really, they're protectors of our livestock and, and to my family. And the family, absolutely. So, that's awesome. I probably need to get one too here in the future. Kevin. Well, Kevin, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go put the eggs on the incubator. So, uh, you want to say anything to the audience, guys? Thank you so much for coming and checking my channel out. I know Dutch has sent a lot of people over to my channel that has subscribed and you guys have told me that he sent you. I really appreciate it. That's the only way we can make it on YouTube if you guys interact with us. Yeah, the support. And it helps out a lot. But uh, anyway, subscribe to my channel, enter in this giveaway for this gift card and uh, follow the rules that he, he said to do. Hey, I'll tell you what, um, I'm going to give away a t-shirt too. Keeping it, I don't have one on today. Actually, got I got my uh, flannel shirt on. Brandy hates this, so I wear it all the time. It's so funny. Um, but I'll, I'll give away a free t-shirt to one of y'all also. So $50 gift card and a free t-shirt. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> all you got to do is go subscribe to his channel. You've seen all the stuff he's got going on. You guys, you guys are going to love it. He's got more animals than I got. Um, he, he actually has some peacocks. Fix and build a big well, I said, where's your, pe where's your peacocks at? And he's like, I, I sold them. Uh, that's what Kevin does. Kevin, uh, a lot of his animals serve a purpose, a lot of them for food. Um, some are, are for making money for the yeah. off the homestead. That's awesome. So go go uh, join his journey. Watch what he's got going on. And you said you're getting ready to build a better pig pen? Fix and build a big hog pen. Big old hog pen. Kevin raised some uh, some big black uh, Large hogs. black hogs. Large black hogs. red wattle hogs. I, I love the red wattles. Well, you got, you I got a couple from you. From yeah, me. I got two you that got you've seen on it. my channel that I got from Kevin. Um, they're Red Wild is by far my favorite. Um, I don't know about you guys out there, but I love them. But anyways, I got to get off here. I got to go um, edit this video, and I got to put the eggs on the incubator. So, Kevin, thanks for letting me borrow the incubator. Anytime, man. Uh, kind of saved my butt on that because I hate to let them eggs just go to waste like that. And I still don't know why that company sent them to me. I don't know. <laughs> but, you guys, thanks so much for uh, watching the video. Like I, like I always say, smash that like button if you liked it. And if you're not subscribed, I don't know why. While you're not yet, go right there. There's a little button you can push. You'll subscribe to my channel. Go get entered uh, uh, on the giveaway and get get uh, uh, subscribed to Kevin's channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, guys. Catch you on the next video.